Hey guys, welcome to the sixth episode of our basic sponge plugin tutorials. Um, today we're going to go over how to create our own teleportation plugin. Now I know there's are the already built in slash db command in Minecraft, but this one will allow you to do more stuff with it, send your own messages or custom messages, and do more things with it, and fire more events with it. So basically, creating your own command allows you to do, basically customize the command a little more. And you don't have to worry about it interfering with the vanilla command. So let's get right into it. Um, this episode won't involve anything with configuration like we learned in the last video, but it will involve what we learned in the first and second video. So like right now we have our basic class set up right here. I have this main class set up, which what we learned in the first episode is how like how we set up all of our sponge plugins. And then I'm executed here with my execute method. Um, we learned both of those in the first second video. If you don't go watch those, I have links in the description or annotation on the screen. So if you guys haven't watched those, go watch those. But for now, we're going to get right into it. So as we learned in the second video, I think we went more in depth in the commands. Um, to create a command, you need to create a command spec. And we need to, let's name this TP spec. Command spec dot, dot, dot builder. For now, let's actually, let's, we're going to put the description and arguments. And then after we write the executor, we'll come back and set the executor. So with the arguments, it's going to be a little different because the way we want to have this command structured, um, let's open Notepad and show you. We'll have the command be TP, and then player, and then optional will be player two. And as you see, I have two different types of brackets here. I have diamond brackets, then I have square brackets. And if you put in plugin development or argument parsing or any develop in any development that requires optionals or like arguments that require optionals, you know that diamond brackets is required in using this. And square brackets are optional. Just a little tip, heads up. Um, even Sponge itself uh, uses that when they uh, print error messages, like incorrect usage, ill type. I think, yeah. If you type if you type it in wrong, it's gonna it's gonna display this. It might display this with diamond brackets inside of it. But yeah, it'll display this exactly. Um, and then obviously the names in here will be the names you describe in the generic arguments you set in here. But this is gonna be our uh, basic structure of the command because I read the person sending the command can teleport to person which obviously you guys know or you can teleport another player to a specified player and to handle that we want we want to do two things we want to do uh, set the first argument to be a player and with the player to be oh, which made this target and then because this one's going to be optional as in like we don't need it, we can put this one in optionals. And let's make this more clean. Generic arguments dot player. Text out of, and we'll name this player two like we did in the notepad file. And for now, that's all we need inside the um, uh, command spec besides executor, but let's write that first. Okay. That's actually let's register a command first. Okay, command register this. And then it'd be TP. Okay, and let's go into our executor. As you see, I have already implemented the class from Sponge. And I've written the implemented method. If you don't like want to write this out yourself, you can just there should be a little thing showing up right here and you click it and, and it writes the method for you. Um, but inside the method, we actually want to handle something a little differently. Because if the console sends it, we will actually want to write them and allow them to teleport two players in the game to each other. Um, so we'll do this. I'll put that. And, but if they're not, if there's like, you know, how we have that second optional argument, the player two. If that argument isn't there they can't their self teleport to someone so we're going to throw an error 
And let's return that before we get. And we'll oops. Source dot send message. Text that of text colors dot read. And we'll do uh, console can only send players to other players. And we handle that. But now that we know that we've confirmed that there is two arguments here. And then there's an existing argument for both of them. Uh, we can actually define both those players. Player, well, this is a player, equals args dot player, get one. And we got, I think we need this target, get it because it's optional. And we need player, we do the same thing. with player two like we did in the previous class and we can actually go ahead you can um handle um if the players aren't online you could do like if player is online opposite and then send a message but that's not actually required because sponge handles it himself it says like value is absent or something like that because it's, it really is an optional and there's no value present so it's going to say value absent so if you don't like that ugly message that Sponge sends, you can handle it yourself and send the error uh, message yourself. Um, but we're not going to handle it. We can deal with Sponge's error messages. And you'll see. We'll test it out. I'll show you. But actually, we can go on and send the player. So we can do player.set location player two dot um, player two dot get location. It's that simple. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was that simple in bucket too. Um, and we want to send both a message. Player, send message. No, I don't want green. I want oh, I want gray, not green. Uh, you have been teleported to base. Uh, player two, that your name. I want to send player two a message. You could create a method for all this teleporting stuff. Um, it would make it a lot easier since we're going to actually have to write all this out three times. Um, so if you want to actually create the method, you just do public void teleport and have two players. P2 and then you just do P1 dot set location. P2 dot get location. That's, that's all it is. That's all you have to do. Instead of, um, and they could also send the messages. You would also do p one dot send message and p two dot send message. It's that it's that simple, and then you don't have to write it three times like I do. But for like we're done seeing getting used to all the code, it helps out to write it more, and you understand more what you're writing if you write it more. So we're gonna do that. Um, and if you feel like you don't need to do that, that's up to you. Um, if you feel like you can do that, you should know how to write a method. Um, and then we should write player dot name has no has teleported to you, and that is it. And we need a return. That's it for the whole entire if a console sends it. Um, and now we can move on if the if a command source sends it. We're not command source, if a player source. Um, I know there could be like a block source sending it, but we're not going to handle that because unless you need to handle that uh, in your plugin, um, I'll, I, may ha I may have another video on like handling other sources, uh, such as block sources, like when you right click a block or something. But that's for another video. Uh, but for now, if uh, we now know that the command source is a player, at least in our case, um, now we're going to determine whether they're trying to do the two argument one or the single argument one and so we're going to do if there's any arguments existing for the player two we're going to perform that action and we can actually copy this as you see this is where the method would help and we need to return I guess could return the copy that too um, but that's all it is. It's literally the same thing above here. Um, and then we can handle if it's not. 
Uh, but the only thing different we need to do is player equals players equals the source. The target player we're sending is the source. And we can copy this. Literally the exact same thing, just three different times. Just the player is different than the last one. Okay, just make sure this is the same, make sure it's all good. And like we learned, build it. And as you see, I have two uh, Minecraft open ones. I hack client because uh, I don't own two versions of Minecraft. Uh, and my server's in offline mode, but we'll start the server up. Um, so that started logging. We already logged in, but we'll have both these loaded up. We had an error. We had an error. Oh, <laughs> yep. We forgot we I knew we were gonna forget if we had sex set the executor forgot to set the executor and you're wondering if you haven't created a class for executor you could write this if your executor is in here if you didn't like create your own specific class for the command you just write this but you have to make sure it implements command executor um so i think we fixed that <laughs> that was my bad i just didn't put the executor in right here so make sure you, you write that <laughs> don't forget that and let that load should load fine yep both of them if any of you guys are wondering what, what hack line it's wolfram i just looked up one because i needed it and you see we have both of our uh, let's chat by both of my things right here i have billy bob and you can you can name it anything you want i don't want f3 open that's kind of ugly oh f3 okay i got billy bob and my account right there and obviously i have just a stupid skin i forgot what that girl's name is um but so now uh we'll put both of these actually i'll run away for this guy I run with Billy Bob, so we can still see him. He's over there. I'm going to the console. I'm going to type TP, and as like I said earlier, if we have TP, it's target and player two. I will do TP and you know, let's go to scenario. Er, console down and send players up players, which is exactly what we want. And we do TP Billy Bob. Bam! Look who came. Uh, look who came. And now that we've confirmed that works uh, in console, let's do this, TP. Uh, we messed up. A 56. Damn, that sucks. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We forgot to change this to target. I know I was messing up one thing. Um, yeah, because... Let's just stop this first. Because, obviously, the player 2 um, argument is the second one that's optional. I forgot to change it back to target from me copying it. So take note when you're copying code that's redundant um, that there might be different, like, little discrepancies between them. So that was my bad. Uh, I'll post all the, the official code in, like... Uh, Pay spin or hay spin or something like that, so you guys can check it out. Um, so you don't have to look at my mistakes and stuff like that. Uh, but now let's rebuild that after my two mistakes. And run that. And obviously this this is a part of development. You mess up, stupid so stuff like that. Uh, just tells you to learn that even if you've done this for four years, you still learn. Okay, now I'll do TP. Am I close to him? He's over there. Bam. Okay. Teleport to him. And I can also, I should do the same thing with myself or him. Or I, or I guess me. TP. I can do that, dude. And they can come to me. Obviously, you can handle this per with permissions, stuff like that. Uh, 
playing works full, you know. You can handle this with permissions. Um, all you have to do is, oops, not there. Dot permission. Set the permission there. Uh, download permissions X or another sponge permissions plugin. Set groups. It's really simple. I'll do a um tutorial on how like to set up permissions. Or create your own permissions plugin. I'll do two videos. I'll do a video on permissions plugins and creating your own permission plugin. But that's for another video. Um, as you see, it's very simple to do. You can create your own. Um, very simple. Uh, yes, it overrides Minecraft one, but you can customize it a lot more than you could normally. Um, so I hope you guys can learn something and apply this to your own plugins or knowledge. Um, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.